This video explains how to change the number of decimal places on the x-axis of a plot using the R programming language. So without much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video I will show you several examples and all of these examples are based on the data frame that we can create with the lines 2 and 3 of the code. So after running these lines of code a new data frame object called data is appearing at the top right. And if we click on this data object, a new window is opened, which is showing the structure of our data frame. And as you can see, our data frame contains six rows and the two numeric columns X and Y. So if we want to draw our data in a scatter plot, we can simply use the plot function, as you can see in line five of the code. And in this case, I'm applying this function to our entire data frame. So after running line five of the code, you can see at the bottom right that a new scatter plot is created, which shows our six data points. And you can also see that the decimal places are set by the default specifications of the plot function. So in this case, we have one decimal place. Now let's assume that we want to change this. Then we have to specify the decimal places manually and we can do that using the seek function in combination with the min and max functions and I'm applying these functions to our data frame column x and I'm storing the output of this in a new data object that I'm calling my label positions. So after running lines 7 to 9 of the code our new data object is appearing at the top right and after printing this data object to the bottom in the RStudio console you can see that this data object contains the positions of the labels that we want to add later on to our plot. And then in the next step, we need to apply the sprintf function to specify the actual access labels that we want to show. So after running lines 12 to 13 of the code, this data object, my labels, is appearing at the top right as well. And after printing this data object, you can see that we have specified a character string for each label in our plot and you can see that these character strings have multiple decimal places. Now in the next step we can draw our data once again using the plot function however this time I'm specifying that I don't want to show an x-axis in our plot so after running lines 16 and 17 of the code, you can see that the same plot is recreated. However, this time we have removed the x-axis labels. And then in the next step in lines 18 to 20 of the code, I'm using the axis function to add labels manually. And I'm specifying that I want to add them on the x-axis of our plot. And I'm specifying the positions that I have created before. And I'm specifying the labels that I have created before as well. So after running lines 18 to 20 of the code, you can see that our plot is updated and now the x-axis labels have been changed to numbers with many decimal places. So in this first example, I have explained how to change the number of decimal places using the basic installation of the R programming language. However, it's also possible to use the ggplot2 package for this task and this is what I want to show you in the second example of this tutorial starting in line 22 of the code. So in lines 22 and 23 of the code I'm installing and loading the ggplot2 package. I have installed the package already so for that reason I'm just going to load it with line 23. And then in the next step I'm drawing our ggplot2 plot using the ggplot and geompoint functions, as you can see in lines 25 and 26. So after running these lines of code, a new plot object called ggp is appearing at the top right. And we can draw this plot by running line 27. And then you can see that our data points are shown in a scatter plot in this typical ggplot2 layout. And you can also see that the decimal places have been set to the default specification of the ggplot2 package. Now, if we want to change these decimal places, we also need to install and load the scales package, as you can see in lines 29 and 30 of the code. I have installed this package as well. So for that reason, I'm just going to load it with line 30 of the code. And then in the next step, I'm using my plot object ggp that I have created before. And I'm adding to this 
the scale x continuous function and within this function I'm specifying the labels argument and I'm setting this argument to be equal to the number format function and within this function I'm specifying the accuracy argument to be equal to 0.001. So after running these lines of code our plot is updated and as you can see we have changed the decimal places to three decimal places. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.